Look at what you have on. Lighthouse? Look at your shirts. They got their brand on there. The brand is there. So wherever you go, you may be at Taco Bell or something like that. You like, you go to Lighthouse? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> My daughter go to Lighthouse. She do what her name is. <laughs> Kirsten? Oh, I go to school with Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had had on a Nike shirt, she wouldn't know you went to Lighthouse. Right? You think about Jordan. Y'all got on Jordan in here and ain't never seen Jordan play. But guess what? That's his brand. That's the marketing behind it. There's people that know about the fade shop that's never even been to the fade shop. Now, I got some, listen, if y'all get in trouble with these, I'm going to come back. I'm going to tell y'all, look, <laughs> I brought y'all this stuff right here because I just wanted to show you the marketing and, and the brand part of things. The things you have to do for your business. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. I want the basketball. I want the basketball. He's like, this is a disaster. Now, y'all raise y'all hand and repeat after me. Right here. 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 Alright, y'all make this out now. So it's a red, white, and blue fox as I was looking for the clown suit. And I said, I want that. <laughs> I want to make that the mascot of the fade shop. So I called a friend of mine. Like I told you, a lot of times in life, you're going to tell your friends things you want to do. And they're going to say, oh man, you can't do that. Don't do that. That don't make no sense. But if you believe it, then you're not going to do it. And then you're going to miss out on one of those opportunities. So I told him, I said, man, I saw this red, white, and blue fox. He said, well, what they got to do? What a fox got to do with a barbershop? Well, what a fox got to do with selling cars? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he said, why don't you get two little black kids, a little boy and a little girl? <laughs> I said, well, we don't just cater to little black kids. We cater to everybody. Well, man, what else? Go on and get it. And I got it. And let me introduce you to Spunky, the Fade Fox. That's what's up. Alright. Who want a Spunky? Me. 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 It ain't that many Spunky. <laughs> 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 Look, that many Spunky. I'm going through my participants. Who been, who been participating with me? Oh, that's Look. I got 10 things. No, I be taking out. I got a spunky. Okay, okay, okay. So, I got you, baby. I got you. I got you. Come on, All right. So, I had a client in the chair, right? All right, listen. What I was doing, I was going to all of my. Uh, I'll get all my athletes to do, do a drop for me. You know how you be listening to. Power 92 fans in here. Yeah. Yo, what's up? This is Mr. K. If you want a good education, you gotta come on down to Lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Yeah. So one of my clients said, well man, let me do what? His name was Alan Eberman. I called him AI. He said, yo, this is your boy AI. It wasn't a real AI. I didn't think I was gonna ever cut AI hair. Well, he was AI for the time because his name was Alan Eberman. He said, if you want a good haircut, you got to get faded. And if you want to get faded, there's no other place in the fade shop. So that's where Stay Fresh Get Faded came from. So, you remember when Nike first came out with these and said, Leo Strong? Mm -hmm. Right? Just do, Just do it and all that good stuff. So I went out to China. I went to China for a whole week. You know how I got to China? 
You flew. I flew. I flew. I flew. I flew. And them clippers. But you know, that's right, and them clippers. <laughs> the clippers took me to train. So instead of buying them from the person in Dallas, I went to where they made them at. From China. Right. <laughs> so, China. Well, who like pink? Who like pink? You got some more colors? Yeah, I got pink. No, hey, I don't she got So somebody am gonna get two hundred work benches. Say two hundred for one fifty. Right? But in China, they was ten cents a piece. Uh, so, how many can I get for a hundred dollars? Wait, one okay. yeah, two. Yeah, two. Yeah, two. Yeah, two. Look, look. It's a thousand. It's a thousand. So I got Come on, guys. So I spent like five hundred dollars and got a whole bunch of them. Right? These little balls here. Oh my bad. So, these little balls here. I said, you know what? I want to be different. Because I'm quite sure your barbershop don't have them. And Miss Katie, your barbershop don't have them. They don't. Hey, my barbershop got chips. I got chips. Shut up. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 Okay. My barbershop don't have the water and stuff. So you got to be different. All right, listen. Listen up. You got to be different. Remember what I said? It's okay to be the eyeball? Yes. Because when you when you're the odd person, you can just sit, sit back and look. That's right. And you can listen. Me. Right. So this right here took the face shop. Put the face shop on an extra mile. Because as we just talked about, there are a lot of shops that don't have this and don't do this. That's right. So we're in a lane of our own. Right. So when I, when I give these certain people, I gave, what's the dude named J.R. Smith? I gave J.R. Smith one, I said, hey, J.R., don't let the NBA stress you out, man. Let the faith shop take the stress out of the situation. See, if you do this here long enough, it's going to help build up your forearm and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Oh, oh. So, I got footballs, you know, and baseball. But it's different, but if, if you look on it, it's a score B, the fade shot. Compliments of the Fade Fox. So, I'm marking. Got about two minutes. Okay, marking on both sides. Right? So, anybody got any questions for me, real quick? Okay, real quick, real quick. Y'all see this suit? Yeah. yeah. What y'all see when y'all see this suit? Huh? Red Huh? Red right? Perfect. But the stripes aren't just stripes, they say the Fade Shop. For real? Oh, hold on. <laughs> for real. Oh. Marketing and branding. That's what gets your business to the next level. So as you sit back and you're thinking and you're dreaming, don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to dream because dreams do come true. Before they go, can you tell the story of the the lion? I tell that story. I got I got what we'll close out with that. All right. Oh, Who wants this right here? Me. Come here. Twenty. All right. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. 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 Twenty.
where you want to get in life. And before I leave, I'm going to tell you one more story. Before I leave, I'm going to tell you one more story. You're in the seventh grade now. Get ready to go to the eighth grade. That was a story. It was a lion asleep in the jungle. Chilling, minding his business. And a little mouse ran up on the lion. And the mouse wants to play. The mouse running up down the lion's back, on the lion's face, in and out the lion's ears. And he woke the lion up. And the lion woke up in despair. <laughs> and he looked at the mouse. He said, Why are you messing with me? He said, I'll eat you. And the mouse said, no, Mr. Lion, please don't eat me. I just want to have fun. He said, if you don't eat me, I promise I'll be your best friend. And the lion looked at the mouse. And when you think about the lion and the mouse, what do they have in common? Their a ears. brain. They got four legs. A brain. Two eyes, a tail, ears, all that good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But the size difference is where... The comparison change, right? The lion looked out at the mouse and said, My best friend, what can you do for me? What can you do for me? So the lion let the mouse go. He said, I'm going to let you make it. And a day or so later, the mouse heard the lion in despair. Ah! 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 And the mouse said, my friend is in trouble. I have to go to his rescue. So the mouse ran up on the lion and noticed that some hunters had captured him, had thrown a big net on him. So the mouse chewed a hole in the net and freed the lion. So what I'm here to tell you guys, no matter if you're in the seventh grade, no matter if you're in the eighth grade, no matter if you're the owner of Microsoft, you can never be too small or you can never get too big <clears throat> to be a help for somebody. My name is Ozell Graham, the owner of God's Favorite Barbershop, like I like to call it. The Fade Shop, where we stay fresh and get faith. And we come out and we mentor and talk to little kids like you. Thank you for your time. Clap it up. Hey. Hey.